for Alan Bates, the former sub postmaster who was at the heart of the fight for justice in the post office horizon scandal, has said today he will reject the compensation offered to him by the government. He got the offer yesterday afternoon and Mr Bates says it was one-sixth of the amount he requested. He says it is cruel and derisory. The Treasury Minister, Laura Trott, joins us now. Very good morning to you. It seems absolutely remarkable, doesn't it, Laura Trott, that after the massive television programme, the Prime Minister insisting that you would do right by those affected, that the guy whose name is in the title of the programme is offered a cruel and derisory offer. Morning. We will absolutely do right by these people. Uh, there's three different schemes as part of the post office compensation scheme. There's one for overturned convictions where people are getting £600,000. There's a historic shortfall scheme where people will be getting a minimum of £75,000. And that will be the same for the group litigation orders as well. Now, obviously, there'll be some cases in which people will want more than that. And that's absolutely their right. And there is an independent process to make sure that they uh, can uh, make sure those claims are adjudicated appropriately. So clearly, the Horizon scandal came about because of a glitch in the computer. We were talking about this earlier, and it certainly feels like the response to what his forensic accountants have put in as a claim, mm. this hasn't been thrown in just to some willy-nilly idea of what he feels he deserves. This has mm. been forensically studied to make sure every penny is accounted for and can be justified. The computer has just said no again. So regardless of what you're saying with the government's compensation schemes, it's failing. Why not just turn around to these sub-postmasters and sub-postmistresses who have suffered enough already and say, do you know what, we are going to look at this and we're going to make sure you get the money that you all deserve? That's exactly what we are doing, Ben. But, that's, but so, it's that's... a scenario here, though. He's been turned around and it's a sixth of what he put in as a claim. That is not what you're doing. It's cruel and derisory. Yes, there's a process, there's a, there's a process to go through if people um, think they're entitled to it, as they absolutely might be more than the 75K in his uh, case. This was um, the group litigation order that I believe that he is part of. They won millions of pounds of compensation that through the court. That turned out to be 20,000 each. The majority yeah, went to the yes, lawyers. Yes, no, exactly. Because, yeah, exactly, exactly that. Because the cost went to the cost of litigation. Uh, so that is something that the government is putting right at the moment that's obviously a process to go through to check that we get to the right number. Uh, I'm confident that we will do and we will make sure that we do. So if these processes aren't working, we will change them again. Why because we have Alan shown that Bates, we're absolutely but why committed should Alan to Bates sure have to go back down. and fight this yet mm. again after everything they've already been through? Why should he and his uh, solicitors and his, his forensic accountants equate for every single penny that he's asking for in compensation? Why should that not just be delivered? Why should he have to fight back again? Look, you're right, and we need to make sure that these processes are as easy as possible for postmasters and postmistresses that have gone through so much. And I know Kevin Hollenrake, who is the brilliant business minister, who has been fighting, by the way, for compensation for postmasters for many, many, many years, way before the, the brilliant drama was put on ITV. And he will make sure that people are getting what they deserve in a timely fashion when they deserve it. And we are taking extreme steps in the government to make sure that that happens. So you acknowledging this morning that a sixth of what he asked for is not what Mr Bates deserves. I have to let the processes happen and go through, but we have acknowledged He's as government the that process. things aren't happening. And he was offered yet, a no, sixth. Yep, yeah, we have acknowledged as government that the processes haven't been happening as fast as they should be, that people haven't been getting the level of compensation that they deserve, and that is absolutely what we're putting right. OK, but, sorry, this happened yesterday. This didn't yeah. happen years ago. This has happened since everybody watched the scandal on television and since the Prime Minister said everybody will be fairly compensated. This happened at a minute to five yesterday afternoon. You are not doing this fairly or in a timely fashion. Would you acknowledge that? I totally understand what you're saying. What I would say back to you, Susanna, is that we can't make things happen overnight in government, particularly with post office. We're having to pass legislation, an emergency type of legislation, by the way, that has never really been done before, apart from we've got some precedents going back to the war, uh, which is what we're doing. That cannot happen immediately. But, but, but to that say this overnight, this hasn't, this hasn't been overnight. For some of these people, it's been going on for over 20 years. I of mean, the course. reality of this and the fight that Alan Bates and all of those sub-postmaster ministers have hasn't happened overnight. He put in his claim after the, the, the Prime Minister, Susanna, said that they will be fairly compensated. Since that's gone in, this is clearly not happening. They are clearly not being compensated fairly. 
There are, as I said, Ben, there are, there's various things going on. There's the Horizon Inquiry, which is happening at the moment, which was set up a few years ago. There's the overturn conviction scheme where people get £600,000 as a minimum. They may get more as a result of that. We're passing through legislation to make sure that people get that faster. There's the other two schemes. We've increased the amount that people are getting as a minimum as a result of these schemes. That's something that can be looked at further as part of an investigation. So we are doing a lot here. I absolutely commit to you that we will continue to look at this and see whether we're getting it right. But we are doing a huge amount. We're doing a historic amount to make sure that these injustices, which are completely horrific, are uh, rectified as much as we can. It's, it's not a case of seeing if you're getting it right. Clearly, you're getting it wrong. I mean, that's, that's simple. You can see when it's the sixth cruel and derisory. Yeah, I, I do understand that. I think that this will be at least £75,000. Um, there is obviously more that he feels is due in this case. Uh, that There has to go through a process now to go through that. And like I said, Kevin will keep this all under review. Uh, have you totted up how much the lawyers are earning in all of this? Uh, I haven't, I'm afraid, Susanna. I don't know. This is obviously something... There's lots of lawyers involved in all sides of this. Um, I can imagine it will be quite a large amount, though. It certainly will be. Uh, and it'll be interesting if we could find out the bill so far. Because I can imagine if you split that between the sub-postmasters, they may have got something approaching fair compensation. We'll have a look at well, those figures if you, can, uh, if you can get them. And also, mm -hmm. Fujitsu. What are you going to ask Fujitsu for to add to the compensation bill? So, at the moment, there's an inquiry going on, uh, which will look at the role that Fujitsu played in this. It's absolutely right that we let that inquiry take place and we understand where liability lies for this and then the government will follow up on all of the inquiry's recommendations. Laura Trott, thank you very much indeed for joining us. It's a huge thank issue you. for our audience, um, but the bill so far not settled. Thank you.